Hello and welcome guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Cura uh, settings uh, for the use of the FLSAN QQ 3D printer. Uh, first off, let's go to settings printer and then go to manage printers. I've already added a new printer called it FLSAN QQ. Let's go ahead and go to machine settings. On the printer section, just make sure that it's uh, 260 millimeters at the X and Y. At the Z uh, axis, let's uh, make sure it's 360 millimeters. The build shape plate, uh, make sure you've selected the elliptic. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that the origin at center and heated bed are both ticked on. And for the G code flavor, we're gonna choose Marlin. Uh, number of extruders, one. These are the uh, start G code and the end G code. If you guys uh, would like to have uh, the same ones, I'll leave them in the uh, comment section under the video. We'll go ahead to the extruder one. Make sure that the nozzle size is 0.4 millimeters. Compatible material di diameter is 1.75 millimeters. And then we can go ahead and close. We can go to the materials part. You can duplicate the PLA. Uh, and just call it PLA uh, QQ if you want. Uh, you want to uh, make sure that the di diameter is 1.75 millimeters. And for the print settings, uh, it's going to automatically uh, detect them from the print setup uh, section. So let's just close and come to the print setup section. I've made a new profile called it FLSON 0.2 millimeters. Uh, as I'll be uh, printing mostly in 0.2 millimeter uh, layer height. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, proper properties. At the quality uh, layer heights, I put at 0.2 millimeter and the initial layer line width 100%. Uh, to the shell, for the wall thickness 0.8 millimeters, wall line count 2. Top bottom thickness 0.8 millimeter, top thickness also 0.8 millimeter. Top uh, layer and bottom layer are four. Bottom thickness 0.8 millimeter, and for the horizontal expansion, you don't need to uh, put anything. If you do not find any of these options uh, listed here, you can simply go to search and write, uh, for example, the option that you're missing. You can see here you can adjust it from here, and you can go to the settings and uh, make sure that it appears by ticking uh, and that it appears in this uh, menu. So after the shell, let's go ahead and check the infill. Uh, depending on your 3D printed model, uh, you can decide uh, basically how much infill you want. I use 15% uh, mostly and I use also grid uh, infill pattern. Uh, for the material, we're gonna uh, assign 205 celsius to the printing temperature uh, 60 celsius for the build plate temperature and i use 60 celsius because i'm using plexiglass on top of my heated bed uh, you want to go ahead and enable a retraction and uh, assign 4.5 millimeter retraction distance and a retraction speed of 80 millimeter per second so far these settings have uh, gave me really good results in the uh, printing with the FLSON QQ, so uh, test them out. Uh, always, if they are, do not suit uh, your prints, you can go ahead and modify them. But so far, I think these settings will work for most of the uh, people out there. For the speed, I print uh, with the speed of 40. The infill and the wall are different. So the infill, I put 40 millimeter per second, wall speed 20, outer wall 20, inner wall, 40 millimeter per second top bottom speed 25 travel speed 150 and the initial layer speed at 20 millimeter per second um, for the travel we don't need to adjust anything for the cooling just make sure that you enable print cooling and keep it at 100 percent for the support depending on the 3d model that you're printing uh, you will need to uh, turn on the uh, support if you have quite uh, uh, high uh, overhangs uh, so it's up to you when you want to use the support 
Uh, the build plate adhesion, I'm, I usually use skirts just to clean up the nozzle from the um, filament and prepare it to be ready for the 3D print. Special modes, there's the spiralize outer contour, that's similar to a vase mode. If you do not want to print with a solid infill, you go ahead and check this. Uh, as for now, I'm going to leave it like that. So here you go guys, these are the settings for the FL Sound QQ if you want to use the Cura a software for slicing. If you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe my channel for future videos. Thank you and see you next time.